Now it's time for Record Journal Athletes of the Week. All right, let's roll. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you may happen to be tuning in. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Meriden Record Journal, and welcome to the Bringing It All Back Home edition of the Record Journal Athletes of the Week contest. We are in week five of the fall season, turning the corner from October to November. Didn't think we'd get here, but we have gotten here, and we have a new slate of Record Journal Athlete of the Week nominees for you. First, our winners from week four. Hey, and Aaron, I was checking out the voting to- uh, totals that our friend Roe Harding was so good to send over to us. Numbers are really good, and I- I'd like to see that. Big turnout is the theme of this year's voting. And in week four, our winners were from Lyman Hall, Miss Gianna Scapetto. Congratulations to you, Gianna, having such a great season. And our boys winner, yes, Mr. Samir Dishnitsa. I get to say that name again. I love it. Samir Dishnitsa, Cheshire Soccer. Congratulations to our week four winners. Our nominees for week five, well, I'll tell you what. We have a good slate of candidates, and it was actually tricky this week because I had a mess of good girl nominees. I mean, so much so that I I almost thought about just going with girl nominees this week, making it like ladies night or something like that. But there were some good boy candidates too. And I said, I can't just diss the guys. I got to roll with them too. So we're sticking with the tradition. Three boys, three girls. We're going to start with the girls and we're going to start over Meriden, Oregon Road with Wilcox Tech Volleyball. Wilcox Tech is 10-0. They beat Cheney Tech the other night to improve to 10-0. And And a player who had a big part uh, in that win, and as she has over the past three, four years, Miss Montgomery Rios. And I I could tell you, Montgomery, I picked you because you had nine assists against Cheney. You did. I could pick you because you uh, you served a 12-0 run that set the tone in game one. You did. But you know why I picked you? Because you're a senior captain, and I think you summed up the essence of that team pretty well. You said, we got a real good vibe on the court. And a real good time, a good team always has a real good vibe. Montgomery, congratulations to you and the Lady Indians on a fine, fine season. You are girls nominee number one here in week five. Our second nominee, she hails from Cheshire High School. She runs and she runs very far and she runs very fast. She is Miss Megan Georgescu. Only a sophomore, but she's the girl who's been setting the pace this year for the Lady Rams. With the exception of the season opener, she's run their fastest time every time. And she capped a regular season with a pair of first place finishes. One against Shelton, one against Brantford at Cheshire Park. Her best time on the 2.9 mile course over there, 1926. Was that an election year, Aaron? Well, it was. It wasn't a presidential election. It was Coolidge's midterms. Hey, Megan, no midterm for you. Here and now, you are girls candidate number two here in week five. Our third and final nominee. This one was tough. I was looking at a lot of swimmers this week. You know, uh, Meriden and Southington swam against each other. And at that meet, Miss Lizzie Bolo broke the Southington diving record. A couple other girls from Southington were swimming well. Meriden girls swimming well. But Sheen and Lyman Hall had another virtual meet. And they did a nice little twist on their meet. They had a pentathlon. And what they did is they took five events and scored those events, each team its top three swimmers. So a little twist on the usual story. But what wasn't a twist was the girl who emerged as the day's best swimmer. And she is from Lyman Hall High School, Miss Caroline Kroc. This girl's a good one. She's been good since her freshman year, now a junior, coming off an All-State sophomore year. And again, she and the other day in their virtual meet, she won the 100 IM because they did 100 yards for all the races. The IM, the breaststroke, which she holds the school record. And she also finished third in the Butterfly. She's a good one. We'll be looking to see what she can do in the SEC meet that's coming up at the end of the week. For now, Caroline, girls nominee number three here in week five. All right, we've 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 reached halftime. As you can see, I voted already today. We're filming on Tuesday. I know Aaron has voted. I brought a sticker for you, Aaron, too, because I know you voted by absentee ballot. But you voted, so you get a sticker as well. But that's going to be after we give the boys uh, candidates here in week five. They are, well, we got two soccer players and we got a runner. Let's start with the runner. He's a good one. He's a young one, but he's a good one. He is from Southington High School, Mr. Jake 
Nafis. Jake Nafis, one half of the Nafis dynamic duo. He and his twin brother, Drew, key parts of Southington's run to the state open last year as a team, and they were only freshmen. And uh, this year, uh, the boys are getting back after it again for Coach Dan Dashley, and Jake is really starting to round into some serious form. He ran a 17.07 to win against Farmington the other day at Winding Trails. I've been watching Jake's times come down. Tick, 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 tick. And Jake, I got to say, uh, full disclosure here, because transparency is everything. Um, I actually grew up with Jake and Drew's dad. He grew up in the same neighborhood as, as me over in Southington. And uh, back when we were kids, there was a pond near our house. And uh, in winter, that's, we would go up there and skate. And Jake, your old man, he could fly like the wind on skates. Couldn't catch him then. Still trying to catch him now. For now, you are boys nominee number one here in week five. Our second nominee, we're going over to the pitch. Said we got two soccer players, and we do. The first one is a young one. And he's a good one. He's going to be around for a while, and we look forward to watching him play. He is from Platt High School, Mr. Alex Rocha. Starting as a freshman up top, he's a striker. He had a goal in his first game, had an assist the other day against Weathersfield. The kid's got speed. He's got skill. Coach Tim Redican has a good one. Alex Rocha, congratulations to you, boys nominee number two, and probably will be somewhere along the line in the next three to four years. Third nominee, he's an elder statesman, this young man. He is from Cheshire High School, the goaltender, Mr. Matt Pisani. Cheshire is, uh, the numbers prove it, they are our best boys soccer team. Everybody wants to take them down, get after it. Lyman Hall, she, and you're going to get your chance. Cheshire really is a numbers bear it up. They are our boys, best boys soccer team. And this guy is a cornerstone in goal. And as a senior captain, he's got three shutouts in the year. And a goals against average of 1.12. We have decimals in this show, Aaron. 1.12 goals against average going into Wednesday night's game with Xavier. In fact, as I'm speaking, Cheshire is playing Xavier in a showdown. Xavier won on opening night. Cheshire looking to avenge that. Good luck to you, Mr. Matt Pisani, in that game and as well as in our Record Journal Athletes of the Week contest. And on that note, they're in the books. Three up, three down, total of six. Go online now at myrecordjournal.com backslash sports between now and and Sunday at the midnight in the midnight hour. And we will bring you the results next week. We're hoping to take this contest right through the postseason that is planned for the fall season. We'll see what the days ahead bring us. As all the athletes know and all their parents know in this fall season, it's been one day and one week at a time. We made it through October. We're here in November, making it through Election Day. And the sun is shining. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the American Record Journal. As always, my best to my man, Aaron Flom, my man, Sean Kidd Krofsik. We'll catch you next week. Be good.